It's officially January, which means it should be a busy time for ski season. However, up here at Red Lodge Mountain, there just isn't much snow, and that has a big impact, not only here, but in the local businesses in town as well. If you love snow, you probably love hearing this. The sweet sound of skis carving out some fresh snow, but this year, it's hard to find. Well, it's been one of the roughest starts we've had. A lack of snow, creating big problems for mountains everywhere. It's definitely a little frustrating. Um, we get out skiing quite a bit. Cody, Wyoming residents Matt Morris and his daughter Isabel were forced to make the extra 30-minute drive to Red Lodge because their usual mountain, Sleeping Giant, is still closed. Having passes at Sleeping Giant, it's hard to come over here and afford to go skiing. The additional price tough to swallow, plus the snow here isn't much better. We'll make the best of it. We're happy to see Lazy M open. And this, the mountain's actually skiing pretty good considering the conditions. When you're not around the snow makers, there's lots of rocks as there is in the background, but as long as you kind of stay on the pass, it's, it's pretty all right. Justin Hobbs and Cole Foskey also made the trip north from Powell because Sleeping Giant is closed. On Wednesday, just 22 of Red Lodge Mountain's 70 runs were open. Most Black Diamonds are closed down, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Hopefully we'll get a snowstorm here soon and everything will open up. And conditions here have a big impact here. This is the scariest year I've ever seen. The Red Lodge economy is also suffering. No snow means no tourists. Montana Candy Emporium General Manager Nick Beard says it's the slowest year he's seen in more than 40 years. A lot of places are even closed right now because it's been so bad. Red Lodge's Nordic Center also looks like a ghost town. Back when I was a kid, there would be six feet of snow out there right now. and. It just seems like it's getting worse and worse. But Beard is hopeful. The snow often arrives late in Red Lodge. He's crossing his fingers that this winter's slow start will soon be a distant memory. We're really counting on uh, mid-January is when we get hit, so we'll bounce back like we always do. In Red Lodge, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.